Hello everyone, this is Hillbilly Heath, and I've got another GEC knife review for you. Uh, I thought I'd put these two together because, you know, these are the only two uh, farm and field knives from GEC that I have. Uh, uh, the one on the left is the number 47 pattern, which came out in 2016. The one on the right is the 71 pattern, which came out, well, it came out several years ago, but they put these out every couple years or so is the 71 pattern, and the one I have came out uh, at the beginning of 2018. Uh, so first off, we'll start with this one. Uh, this is a sheep's foot blade. And they call this one the Hay and Helper. And I use this knife pretty regularly. Uh, I don't use it for food prep or nothing, which is why it doesn't have a lot of patina on it. It's just a, starting to turn gray. And, you know, basically the only thing I do is slice wires with it and uh, cut up boxes and that type of thing. And uh, really the only patina it's getting is from me rubbing my fingerprints off of it like that. So you, you can still read the etching on there pretty good. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, the fit and finish on these, even though they're like the budget line of GEC, is very good. Uh, I believe this one was like uh, right around $60 when it came out. And uh, the fit and finish is amazing. I mean, everything's tight and flush. There's no gaps. Uh, this one has uh, stainless steel back spring and liners. Uh, the pull weight on this one is a little light. It's probably five or six. I mean, it, it's it's light. And I kind of wish it was a little stronger, especially for a knife that I, you know, I'm gonna use every day. Uh, these all have these pinned pivots here with the uh, Farm and Field USA on the washer and you got GEC Titusville Iron Ironworks and you got the model number there but uh, like I said I use this one a lot really like it uh, I like the thickness of the handles uh, on both of these I mean they both fill out the hand very well and you can see this one's kind of got a sway back design to it so for draw cuts it's very comfortable and it's comfortable this way too just it just kind of sits up in your palm a little bit so but uh, very nice really like this one and uh, these things are I mean they're, they're little razor blades too I mean, they slice paper very easily, especially if you put your, you know, put good edge on them. Uh, some of these GCs don't come from the factory with the best edge, but uh, they're ground very thin, so you can easily put a, a real good edge on them. Uh, next is the number 71. It's also in the OD green linen uh, micara. As you can see, it's also got the stainless back spring. Well, I don't. It's, well, it's not stainless, but uh, steel back spring and uh, liners. Um, same pivot. Uh, fit and finish on this one's maybe even better. Everything seems to be flush and no gaps. Uh, now this one has a much stronger pull it's when I got it it was an eight uh, maybe pushing a nine I mean it was very stiff when I first got this uh, you know I oiled the pivot uh, and then I'd leave it out for a day or two at a time kind of like this with the spring sticking down and it, it has loosened up some and it's, it's like a seven now uh, you know, I don't mind uh, a heavy pull on my user knives. I mean, that's just kind of a safety thing where, it, you know, it's less likely to, to close on your finger, but I don't like nail breakers either. I mean, and this one isn't near as pinchable as the uh, 
sheep's foot blade, so it's a little it's a little more difficult to get out. As you can see, sometimes it's if you're uh, got any little sweaty fingers or fingertips, it's kind of hard to get out. I mean, you can use the nail nick; that makes it a little easier, but careful there, because you'll break a you'll break a nail. But the uh, interesting thing about this one, uh, as you can see, maybe, it's flushed when open. It's flush when closed. And it's flush at the half stop. And most GECs aren't like that. Most of them uh, with half stops are, you know, the, the spring's a little proud on the half stop. Now they're about all flush open and closed, but just that half stop, they seem, most of them seem to be a little proud. Uh, this is a great work knife, but I don't use it as much for a couple reasons, and I'll get into that in a minute. But uh, <clears throat> the blade shape's great for you know EDC task and for you know if you do a lot of stuff where you're cutting down on a board like food prep type stuff something where you need to do a, that type of cut but that blade shape uh, is very good and if some of you guys may know that blade shape is in one of my favorite uh, kind of modern budget folders the rat series from Ontario look at that here's a rat model one in d2 steel same blade shape this may be a little closer comparison here's the rat 2 in d2 steel and you can see the blade shapes basically the same and these work very well too for you know the same type of task but uh, yeah, but the, you know this is a, the GC's uh, take on the side buster. So uh, in my opinion, it blows the case model of the side buster out of the water. Now it's a little, it's higher. I mean, you can get those uh, the little mini uh, yellow Delrin side busters for you know 25, 30 bucks, and this one's. 55 60 so I'm about twice as much but the fit and finish is much better and you know I believe it's an overall better knife now but the one thing with this one I do have an issue with uh, because there's two reasons like I said earlier there's two reasons I don't carry this one as much as my hanging helper here one's the blade shape uh, for me, the, the sheep's foot blade's just a handier blade shape. That's, that's just for me, personally. I wish that this one had the strong pull like this. Because I like, on a knife that I'm going to use, pretty regular, uh, I'd like for it to have, you know, 7, 8 pull. This one doesn't. It's like a 5 or 6. But my other issue with this knife is... Uh, when I first got it, I sharpened it, you know, put my edge on it, took it out, used it a few times, uh, started to cut uh, some cardboard or, or something, I can't remember what it was, but I noticed my, my blade was snagging about halfway down. And about where the bull's left hook left hoof is maybe maybe back towards this way a little bit that there was a, a a nick in the blade and I thought at first maybe I'd hit something with the blade but I found out later that wasn't the case because of this strong spring and can you see where that pin is that's where my nick was I was getting blade wrap from just closing the blade because of how strong it was 
and how far this blade sits down in the handle. Yeah, you know, it put a big nick in my blade, and that's ugly. I was not happy with that at all. And if you can see, use my O light here. Eh, might be better without it, but you can see the discoloration about where my thumb is. You can actually see where the blade has been hitting that. And that's not good. And this is, out of all my GEC knives, this is the only one I've had a major issue with. Was that right there. And, you know, I've sharpened this knife two times since my initial sharpening. And it's started to, you know, kind of go away where it isn't doing that anymore. But it's still just barely catching there. I don't know if I can... It's like right, right in here somewhere. I've got a piece of paper here. Let me see here. Sometimes you can only tell if you're uh, slicing paper. Okay, it's like right, I just passed it. Right there. It's snagging a little bit. Now it's not near as bad as it was. I mean, it was very obvious before I've sharpened this a couple times. But it's still kind of doing it and I might have to put one more sharpening on it to get it out completely but uh, that was my major issue with it and you know I've, I've uh, watched other videos uh, you know and you know read about it in forums of, of different people having that same issue so this just isn't me you know I'm not the only one having this issue with with this uh, bullnose 71 pattern so I mean there's still some of these out there uh, some of the dealers still have these uh, now these are getting harder and harder to find uh, like I said this came out in 2016 so if you can find one of these and you like it uh, snatch it up as soon as you see it <laughs> because uh, they're pretty hard to find right now now these are still out there uh, there's dealers that still have these so if you search around a little bit, you can find, uh, I believe they make uh, uh, black linen, micarta handles, and there's uh, maybe a red linen. There's a, a glow in the dark, like Delrin type material. Uh, but uh, if you're gonna get one of these, I would uh, either go to a brick and mortar shop where I could handle it and look at it, and make sure that that isn't an issue with the blade wrap or you know have someone check it out for you that you trust or, or buy from some place that you can send it back if that's an issue um, but you know like I said this is this is the only major issue I've had with any Great Eastern Cutlery knife so I mean and, and you know that is a pretty big issue I mean nobody wants to use their knife and then close it two or three times and then basically it's useless in the middle of the blade because you got a big nick in it I think he might be able to it's like right there I wish I hadn't sharpened this the the extra times before I did this video so everyone could see it but uh, like I said it's starting to come out but you can see that little piece of fuzz right there that's where it's catching that's where the nick's happening but I mean like I said I've, I've sharpened it a few times and it's almost enough where it's not a concern anymore but you know it's still an issue that needs to be fixed and uh, yeah so but I, I really like both of these these knives uh, uh, especially this one I mean I've had no issues with it fit and finish is, is very good uh, fit and finish is probably even better on this one um, but just that one issue so if you're thinking about getting one of these just you know check it out first i'd like to thank everyone for watching this is hillbilly heath everybody have a wonderful day bye now